What up everyone? I just did a review of this memo bottle. I just got it in the mail today. I, I helped their Kickstarter, um, what was it, a year ago or so? Uh, I really love this memo bottle, let me just tell you. And uh, my review is gonna come out in a couple weeks, but I am in love with this memo bottle. If uh, you have any time, go to memobottle.com and uh, check it out. All right, and the bow stands are done. See, the bow stand displays, this is Josh's. See, we wanted something like this where it was really rubbery, but all we could find was the orange. But it fits perfect, our bow right there. And then the rest is just wood, we stained it. And then our friend came over and helped us carve out a design from the wood. So this is Josh's. And on the other side of the TV, we have mine. Very cool. Actually, a really nice little display there. So, here are the displays of the bows. I dig it a lot. And then when we want to uh, go shooting, um, our plan is just grab them off of the display and then come over here. We're going to store those bow cases underneath the uh, table here. So then we could just grab the bows, put them in the bow cases, and go. So. <clears throat> yeah, I like it. Okay, and this is completely random, but we normally give Isaiah some glucosamine pills. Um, these glucosamine pills for his joints because when we first got Isaiah, he had a bum leg. It looked like a car had hit him. So when we adopted him, we had to do like physical therapy on his leg and stuff like that. So ever since then, the vet has suggested that we give him pills. Well, I keep this bottle of pills for Isaiah for his joints because if I don't give it to him for like a day you can tell a difference it's like a huge difference he's limping all this stuff so I truly believe no matter the naysayers out there say glucosamine does nothing glucosamine helps him I know this because I see the difference okay but this is um I actually carry his pills in my bug out bag and these are the emergency pills that we have for him these are straight from my bug out bag and we his uh pills ran out a few days ago, so I've been using the ones from the bug out bag. <laughs> and I'm uh, just gonna replace these. That's just random, pulling stuff from the bug out bag and using it when you need it in everyday life or whatever. That's a, uh, I do that quite often actually. Okay, so the other day I discovered that this coarse sandpaper could create sparks on a ferro rod. And I wanna see if it can legitimately That one's not creating, it's creating sparks. But not as many as it was with the big. sandpaper and I think I could get it with the smaller um, ferro rod it's just a lot easier with the <laughs> with the beast so there you have it creating fire <laughs> with sandpaper and the beast ferro rod like I said I think you could do it with the smaller one just takes a little more effort a little more strength so um, that's it that's gonna be my video for tonight and today I will see you tomorrow